All right, everybody, welcome to another episode of this series where we invite a number of people that really help us understand what the life insurance industry is and hopefully guide us through the whole process. So today, I invited one of the most sought after in demand and the one and only Coach Ayet. Coach Ayet, hi ka muna Hi, guys. Hi, thank you for inviting me, Joseph. I'm happy to be here. Mukhang kulang yung introduction ko, ah. <laughs> Isa, sa introduction pa lang, guys, medyo bitin na tayo kasi uh, Coach Ayet, uh, ang hirap i, ano, eh, ilagay sa isang minuto. But later on, for sure, si share sa atin ni Coach Ayet yung mga ginagawa niya sa buhay and what she does for the life insurance industry as a whole. Uh, kaya I'm very excited for today kasi we have her today. And for sure, if you finish this video, stay, stay until the end. Marami kayong matututunan and you'll have a different perspective of the whole industry, the life insurance industry. Uh, hindi lang as a business, but also as a person. Kitang-kita niyo si Coach Ayet, parang Korea na lang. Tumayin natin yan. Coach Ayet agreed yes. to yeah. join me today. So first, uh, we're celebrating the month of uh, Women's Month this March. And second, she does something very unique and very special for everybody in the life insurance industry. And kung ano yun, uh, stay tuned kasi tutulungan tayo niyan later on. Ikikwento niya yung mga ginagawa niya. Kasi very important yung ginagawa niya. And I think she does this with passion, with hard work. And kita ko naman, she's ever present to all companies, ah, regardless of the color. Yan. <laughs> Coach Ayet, can you give us a little bit of uh, an introduction of yourself? Maybe, pakilala ka lang, your name, what you do, any mga businesses mo, and what you do for the life insurance agents and yung mga financial advisors natin in the Philippines. Okay, thank you for the generous introduction. I'm, I'm happy to be here, and I hope that your listeners and viewers will subscribe to this channel, the ba, Joseph? <laughs> okay, so um, first and foremost, I am Ayet. I am uh, Coach Ayet uh, as a social media handle, media handle name. And uh, as you see in my background, um, we, are, we hold uh, an office here in Mandaluyong and it's called XDTN Company. And true uh, to what Joseph mentioned that we help insurance agents from all colors, all companies, even their families um, from, from registration to filing to business closing and family legacy. So, um, para lang masaya no, yung session natin. And in order for me to introduce myself also, uh, I have a lot of organizations that I'm part with. And I'm very proud because this is one way that I express myself, uh, learn more uh, more things and meet new people. So for example, um, I am part of uh, uh, BCBP. This is the background that I have at the back. Can you guys see? Um, it, this is an... I Yes. Reading your yes. <laughs> and I'm actually... Um, I'm, I'm trying to be creative para lang ma malaman din nila. And hopefully, di ba, we can also um, be part of the organizations that I am, I am with. So here in BCBP, this is to express my spirituality and to also meet people... Uh, na katulad ko na pwede may pinagdadaanan or may mga nadaanan na that I can share my insights and experiences. So share and lang next, natin na ah. Share lang natin. Yeah. Sabit, uh, Go guys, mm -mm. it's actually where we met. Doon ko nakilala si Coach Yet in this organization. And, yeah, it really yes. helps. Oh, and yes. We got to know and, what she does mm -mm. and what she does for other people. Right. And I, I like being here because usually, the ba, um, um, praying and being alone, like internalizing, really comes last. And I found it here in BCBP na we should be um, aware of ourselves, of God, etc. Next, I am also part of this organization. And this organization helps me um, strengthen 
my communication skills. And later on, I'll tell you why. So here, I, I get to meet people from all over the globe. And uh, I, this is also me humbling myself that I can get feedback. And I like it here because it's fun. So hopefully you also join. If you're curious, I'm with uh, the President's Chapter here in Artigas. And Coach, then next, I am... Yes? Go ahead. Toastmaster yan ba yung, ano, yung nagtutoast kayo lagi? <laughs> Oo. <laughs> Actually, during launch, and if you are being inducted to the t- to the club, you are you are made to toast with the rest of the people. And they're very welcoming. Um, ang saya-saya kasi ano yun eh, parang impromptu speeches and you also get to get certified and join contests if you like. Okay, so the next one is this. So I am part of the builder business builder mentorship. And um, initially, I started as a mentee for CEO Insights Asia. But they invited me to join the, round, the executive table. And um, I am very honored to also help other uh, CEOs and uh, connections basically so if you are if you have a business or probably thinking about having one uh, maybe you're a startup and you want to learn more I suggest that you check them out they have a Facebook um, it's also in coordination and very much uh, in touch with the bounce back Philippines uh, team and then as I've mentioned earlier uh, eto. so because I know my strengths, I'm part of this community in Facebook. Um, my number two strength is communication. So I I, I join because I want to learn more about me. And hopefully, since I am very interested in people as well, and um, I would like to have my ideas communicated and make it uh, strategic as much as possible. Medyo so, madami-dami pa to, pero are you still so, there? So, <laughs> tamang-tama pala yung pagkaka-invite ko sa'yo. This is something you're natural. You know, this is what yeah. you like to do. Oh, we, I like talking. Talk to people and then sharing yes. what you know and exploring right. other things. Okay. Mukhang marami yan, Coach Ayat. Marami pa, parang two na lang. Two na lang, promise. So, um, very recently, I have uh, this as part of my advocacy. Um, I'm part of a women organization wherein we... Um, help propel, accelerate women, young women from all over the CN region. And um, this is where we exchange our challenges and our success. And then lastly, I am part of this organization wherein we help um, people, families, and individuals from the moment that they learn that they need to save until they need to to, to continue their legacy. Yeah, so... I'll go back to my previous slide. So guys, yes. yeah. Sabi ko naman sa inyo, hindi ka siya isang minuto just to introduce our guest for today. And ever since she said yes to my invitation, medyo nahirapan ako. I tried to come up with a proper introduction. And naisip ko rin, ano ba yung mga questions na dapat ko itanong? Kasi it's personal, a lot of uh, things to share. And I came up with one question talaga. Ito talaga, Coach, pinagandaan ko na pag-isipan ko. Oo. Oh, Ito yung question na gusto ko yung tanong sa'yo. Oo. Oh, uh, ready ka na ba? Yes. Go ahead. <laughs> so, gusto kong malaman, Coach, uh, nag-lunch ka na ba? Yes. Ang sarap ng lunch ko. <laughs> yes. Yan. Ang hirap eh, di ba? Ang hirap ang tanong ko, di ba, Coach? <laughs> Parang kailangan mag-Google ba ako dito? Pero, yes, thanks for asking. <laughs> so, you. masarap yung lunch mo. Nag-lunch ka na. So, we're ready. We're ready yeah. to yes, get started and get this uh, conversation going. Um, thank you for sharing. Uh, definitely, ang dami mong ginagawa and definitely, mukhang marami kang natutulungan na tao. Let's just start uh, gusto mo malaman, Coach, uh, ano yung company? What company do you belong to within the okay. life insurance since this channel is dedicated mm. to that topic? Okay. So, I am with Manulife Philippines. I've been there for seven years. And as what you you have seen earlier on this uh, video, um, 
ano ako, I'm an arranger, so I, I do this stuff, but I also do something else on the side. Uh, but to answer your question, yes, I'm with Manulife, and yun, seven years na ako sa kanila. I mean, most of our um, say, uh, investments are, um, is with that company as well. Wow, yeah, yeah. seven years. Talagang it's a testament to what have you achieved, you know, talagang to what kind of uh, work that you have put in. Lian Madeleine, if you reach that point of seven years, uh, can you share with us within that seven years mm -hmm. parang some of the things that you have achieved as an uh, individual there, as an insurance agent, or even as a financial advisor? Mm -hmm. Uh, okay. mga bigating awards mo ba dyan? Ilabas mo na. Wow! Hindi, <laughs> <laughs> ganito. I would rather say it this way, no? Um, during the journey, I did not expect that I will actually be in the sales force team for a long time. But um, part of the life cycle is that Diba usually you na, na excite tayo, tas plateau, and then you will go down, right? So I, I allowed myself to be in the journey and to stick to it because I really wanted to learn more people. And by saying that, um, it's not the awards that really matter. It's it's how much you are able to keep your clients. That's number one. It's how much people believe in you because you can take care of them. And most importantly, how, how can you also help yourself? Because right? if you are in this business, you are somehow expected to also be stable in terms of so many things. Like, you know, the usual, um, uh, you have to have savings, etc. Um, I have spoken to many people and not many people are aware that they should. Um, I'm not going to sell anything. No, I am not going to make you aware because I know for a fact that may mga hesitations when it comes to talking about the future, um, insurance or investments for, you know, and the worst case scenario is parang they'll, you know, they're close on you. Um, that's why, uh, the reason why I stayed long is because I know what I don't know and not knowing what I don't know means humbling yourself to learn more. And I, I like it when I, I know when I am faced with challenges, problems to solve. Yeah. So yun yung very nature ko. That's why I stay pa. Penny, penny, wait lang. English kasi yun. Uh, <laughs> I know <laughs> what uh -oh. I don't know. Yes. Ang ganda na na. English pa. No? Paano pag Tagalog? Paano yun? <laughs> alam ko, hindi ko alam. <laughs> diba? Kasi parang kapag alam mo lahat, what's, where's the fun in that? There's nothing really to get uh, motivated on or there's really nothing to get to be challenged on. Eh, bakit ganun? Diba? Parang life is full of surprises. So you should, if you are in that state that you are already sustained, Para lang sa akin, it's time to move forward. So it's either you move lateral or you move up. So usually they'll say, especially the the other coaches or other mentors would say, why don't you achieve, achieve, etc. You have to be in that state of happiness first, diba? That you are able to understand what you're really doing. And then moving up is easy. Eh? Sustaining can be shorter if you know that you're happy to do this or that you find your purpose in doing so and if people if if people matter to you if the people matter to you are happy for you doing that for them so yun. that's a state of happiness for me all right so now we know that uh, coach Ayet is with manulife that's the green insurance company and she's been there for seven years. Now we also know that she's been trusted, you know, she's been able to take care of her clients, be able to sustain her business for that long. I've known a lot of people who tried uh, at least once, once in their lifetime, or for one year, they tried it out, they sit out, and it didn't work out for them. So, but okay, lang yan. and Alam mo, dudugtuan ko yan na, dudugtuan ko yung sinabi mo. Sabi niya nga nila, uh, happy Basta to do something. Basta English lang, English lang. Yeah, oh, happy to do something. <laughs> Kunyari, if you're in a relationship, may jowable ka, di ba? Kunyari. Now, may nagtanong, bakit yung ganitong mag-jowa, eh, bakit ang bilis nila naghiwalay? Kasi itong kayo, kunyari lang, 
parang nagstay kayo for a long time. Alam mo ang sagot, simple lang. Because you decide to. There are ups and downs. Diba? Hindi naman lahat or lagi na masaya. There will always be problems and challenges. But if you decided that, you know, I wanted to stick with this, what I do, or I want to stick in this type of thing that uh, makes me happy, it's all about decision. Hindi ko makarelate sa Joables. Uh, <laughs> pero... <laughs> Kailangan makarelate na law. <laughs> I like I like uh, big word, big word starts with the D, uh, decide, a decision. And I think that's really a good way to bring us to that main topic natin or the main question. Uh, for somebody who's been in the industry maybe, you know, for a long time, who's been doing this uh, maybe part-time siya or full-time or maybe even somebody na oy getting to know what's this whole industry about even more today kasi ang daming mga programs that's really attractive like for example uh, this company o oh, meron ka ng allowance for 20,000 per month uh, 60,000 80,000 noon of course <laughs> Hindi mo ba na panood yung isang episode? <laughs> Hindi. Niloloko lang kita. Grabe. Dapat nagsasubscribe ka rin sa episode 2. Yes, eh. I will subscribe. <laughs> subscribe now na. <laughs> Pero, yun nga, for somebody really decided, uh, really serious, and you would want to commit to something like this, uh, this is really a business, eh, if you look at it on the long term. It's a lifestyle, actually, more than a business. Hmm. Kasi if you, if you see this as a business, you feel that it's hard to move on every time. Mm-hmm. Kasi you will be bombarded with coaching and you will have quota, etc. But if you feel like this is something that I can live and, you know, um, kakain ka and you suddenly feel that somebody needs help or you, you suddenly wanted to call a friend, it's a lifestyle. It, it shouldn't be something that's limiting you from what you are doing. And that's probably the reason why I lasted long. Not because I am half time on this, but but because I know that the problem lies not on just one aspect. Kumbaga sabi nga nila, physics is everywhere, like math. You cannot, it's, it's inevitable. You cannot get away with it, diba? Especially mga kids na nakikinig ngayon. <laughs> they don't like math. Math is everywhere. When you breathe in, etc. When you eat, di ba? Something like, kala mo hindi mo like or hindi mo gusto or ayaw mo matutunan but you're actually doing it. Di ba? Like what we're doing right now. We are listening. You don't like what, you don't know me but uh, probably the reason why you're tuned in is because you're curious and I hope we will fulfill that curiosity, di ba, Joseph? I'm ready for the next question. I can of course, go of on course. and on. <laughs> curious na curious nga. Ako nga, every time I see you playing golf, eh, uh, sorry ko, iba talaga ang lifestyle ng isang ano, uh, MBRT. Yeah, you know what? You, you know what? Pero at the same time, oh. kasi she has able, she was able to legitimize her business. She was able to put uh, systems in work for her business. So, nakaka-focus ka what really matters to you, which is, you know, building a relationship with your clients and meeting them and, you know, basically uh, taking care of them after, you know, uh, guiding them with their financial planning. You don't worry about the other stuff of the business. Uh, I mm-hmm. think that's the expertise in inside, which is uh, very curious kami dyan. Uh Uh-oh. So, simple lang, no? Every time that I siguro um, whenever I tell stories or maybe I post stories on my uh, timeline or in my personal account it's really more on this is what I feel at the moment di ba ganun naman ang social media and when you say that it's it's because the lifestyle says like this and probably because I am that um, it's every move should be intentional kasi and I think it's important. Why? Because um, you first and foremost need to have a purpose. What do you intend to do? And then um, looking at all that I'm doing, diba? which should I prioritize that will yield much that 
I can get more of than what I will spend on. So simple lang naman eh. as, as I mentioned again, it's simple math. Add more positivity. Um, if it's less um, effort but huge impact, you prioritize that. Tapos, hindi mo, hindi mo naman kakalimutan the rest eh. Yung mga maliliit na bagay that can contribute to your success as you define ha. Kasi everybody has a def different definition of success. For me, uh, as long as you are happy with what you're doing, you, you eat what you like to eat, etc. You can sleep, etc. That's happiness and that's for me, success already. We are living in a very fragile time. There are a lot of people that even if you convince them to you get this, you have two, etc. Why don't we start from, I get to have this because. Diba? Mas maganda yung ganyang perspective instead of I have to because because if not, then what? Then what? It, you, we, we come from the perspective na I get to have the output. I get to say be an MDRT because I am happy doing what I'm doing. I get to help more people. I get to go places. I get to be faced with uh, different people who are better than me. Maganyan. So we, we come should be coming from that perspective, not because you're forced or not because you get you have to get motivated. First and foremost, you decide the money why why you're here. Diba? You decide. Nobody told you na, oh, you, you become one. You decide to get tagged, etc. So as what you mentioned, this is the business, but I would say you are the business yourself. So if you don't do anything. It's up to you. So your success measure is until your limitation of yourself. Yeah, guys, sa talagang all in one to hindi lang to ano, may motivation ay talk na rin to hindi lang to oh my gosh. talk. Oh, oh. Uh, oh. But ano ba? Uh, really appreciate yung mga kasi matagal na si coach siya yet sa seven years na. But lumang tao. <laughs> really important, uh, really important yeah, na you gotta be able to be say na happy ka. <laughs> and I think one of the best things that Coach Ayet and XGT as whole as a company does for everybody who's decided and committed na that they found their purpose here in this industry is I think the peace of mind na uh, you're doing this at the same time, you you don't have to worry about other stuff. The mga paperworks, mga permits, and all that. Because you want to add more time to what makes you more valuable and less subtract things that takes away your time and less productive for you. So, Coach Ed, baka pwede mong share For somebody oh. na coming in, sabi, oi license ka na. Pas pasado ka na, traditional, BUL. So, uh, qualified ka na sa mga interviews natin sa Money Life. Game na ba yun? Ready na ba? Can I start selling or should I talk to Coach, coach again first? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so if you're, if you're thinking on venturing into this business, again, this is a business for yourself. Ikaw yung business mismo. Hindi yung company. Hindi. Kasi you can, since you have the license, regardless of what color you join, you are carrying the business, your business. So, after you are tagged, pumasa ka na, etc. Usually, and this happened to me, um, I'm curious. Kasi I, I was then with corporate when I joined uh, the team. Now, hindi ko alam na, kasi usually kapag nasa corporate setting ka, HR will be providing everything for you. The paperwork, etc. Now, being a businessman, ito ay in general, be it you're an insurance agent, a professional, a doctor, attorney, or somebody who is part of an insurance or an entity for that matter, and that you are considered as a professional contractor, something like that. Contractor meaning, uh, nandiyan ka, kukunin na lang services mo, and then pwede namang next ganun. As a professional also, practitioner, you have to have your business legitimized. Bakit? There are a lot of advantages and there will also be disadvantages if you do not. So, sinasabi nila, wala pa akong kinikita, pero kailangan ko na magbayad ng mga permits, etc. In order for you to be trusted and to have credibility, 
anong kailangan mo? Di ba pangalan? And that's exactly what we want the insurance industry to have. You are the business. Don't lose your identity. Okay? It's not because um, it's not because you don't know that you shouldn't do it. Nobody is um, exempted. Okay? Pangalawa, you are helping yourself be credible to the people that you're speaking with. Kasi may resibo ka. And especially if you, if you have a group insurance, for example, that they will ask for that. Um, of course, the, the, co the company naman can, can issue. But all the more that if you have it ready, right? Some people would say, Oy, I gave you the money. Usually nga, hindi na ngayon. Kasi sabi ko nga, sinaunang tao. Dati kasi, binibigay sa ahente ang money. Now, because of standardization and because it's COVID also, online payments na. Another advantage that you can have is that if you uh, take advantage of getting um, benefits from SSS, PhilHealth Pag-ibig, for example, and BIR, for that matter, yung COR mo, you can avail loans, you know? Kasi individual contributor ka eh. You are, if you are asked, uh, say for example, like apply ka ng visa, you have papers to show that you are an existing business entity yourself another um if you have an id it's also uh it also matters and if you're switching brands if you're a professional turn um magiging business negotiante ka people will know you na okay and um because you have been diligent about your dues diba sabi nga nila give caesar what is due to caesar <laughs> feel na feel ko na lent diba ayan so it's all about giving back okay yung yung what are you uh what are you trying to be uh, in this business say for example uh, commun uh nation building how how can you be part and mag election na tayo guys but i'm not here to promote anybody but i am just saying help the community help the nation and how can you help the nation by cred uh, being legit with your businesses diba? So, simply put, ganun lang. Ma madali lang naman yung mission and vision ng company namin. And um, that is to help people know the unknown. <laughs> know what the step-by-step -step process on how to be credible. And most importantly, for the nation. Yung for nation building. O di ba? Patriotic tayo dito, Joseph eh. Sibo, resibo, importante yan. Oo, oh, di ba? Uh... <laughs> okay, wala akong... Sabi ka nang <laughs> Ayun. The, uh, actually, what you talked about, you know, advantages, really like the advantages uh, as you mentioned, yun niya, uh, easier for you to avail of loans. Uh, we know yung mga requirements, medyo niyan. Uh, marami, usually compared to an uh, employed person uh, to a versus to a self-employed person. And yun nga, for... For people na who likes to travel, uh, oh, actually I'm doing my, you know, my getting my Australian visa right now. So important I have documentation. Na yun yah, uh, business papers in uh, the ITR to present uh, your financial capability and in uh, one of the very the best thing really is the best benefit I can see there is. Uh, yung credibility. Right? Tama ba, Coach? Coach, pero parang mahal eh. Dami, dami may atang kailangan. <laughs> Permit, di pa ako kumikita. Uh, paano ba yan? Um, don't worry. Be uh, so, those are the advantages of you know, yung mga register ng business mo as life insurance. Let's move on to the other side. Uh, can you help us understand ano naman yung mga disadvantage? Okay, for the disadvantage, if hindi ka registered as a financial agent, pwede mahold yung commission mo by the company. Uh, aside from that, um, if you are non-compliant, there is also a ruling na um, aside from the company, kasi kumbaga titignan natin yan, ano yung internal measures 
of the company that you are affiliated with. If may violation doon, that's the parang immediate action. And then later on, pwede ka rin, kumbaga sa lisensya, pwede ma-revoke kasi ng insurance commission. Although, I'm not saying that it will be automatically be done that way. Um, based from experience ng mga um, financial advisors that we handle in XDT and company, um, their internal measures are strict para alam din ng mga tao at ng siyempre iba-ibang company iba-ibang mga rules diba there are companies that are very strict to their agents in terms of renewing their affiliation every year diba it's being done that way so ganon that's why we are here ensuring that they are um the the pain on the compliance of the lining up long queues etc is outsourced to us yeah that's why we exist Dito so si para XDT. sure yung commission be in the hold uh, mm-hmm. yan contact coach ayet so right, right. we talked about yung advantage and definitely disadvantage uh, hopefully that doesn't happen to you Maybe can we give everybody or Coach Ayed, I want to learn from you a short ano lang, summary. Ano ba yung mga dapat kong kunin or i-register nga? Uh, anyway, uh, BTI, uh, Mayor's Permit ba? Or CUR, then Recibo. Uh, can you help us? Sure, sure. So, um, I'll be very brief about it. Ano? Um, if you are applying for a business and you are an individual, a professional, you need to have a COR. What is COR? It's Certification of Registration. So, ibig sabihin, may ID ka para makapunta ka doon sa uh, gusto mong, or registrado ka, or nakalista ka. And uh, what is it for? Para ma-identify. Okay, um, being a business man or a woman or an entrepreneur, um, we need to be responsible to those who, whom we serve. So the reason bakit kailangan tayong listado kasi may mga pwede tayong serbisyo at saka mga bagay tayong pwedeng i-trade or ibigay sa ibang tao. And kailangan nila pabalik yung reassurance na you are legit, na you're not fly by night, that you will give them the receipt. So that's number two. When you apply for COR, you will be given the authoriz- uh, authorization to print. What is that for? That is your key to get your uh, OR printed. So kung ikaw ay nasa service, sales invoice, uh, OR, if other things, you will be uh, issued a sales invoice. So Ganon, okay. Um, aside from that, so may tinatawag na linya or turnaround time. Usually yung mga ganon, uh, COR is within the day, 24 hours, masyado na matagal yon. Pero um, since the LGUs are getting better and over time, yes, nag improve din naman ang mga processes nila. And that's why... Um, faster yung mga turnaround times, yung mga wait times. So for ATP, it depends on the printer whom you will um, acknowledge or whom you will trust to print your ORs on. So usually, may mga affiliated printers, CBIR, and it's easier kasi they, they are, uh, what do you call this, they are affiliated parang, alam mo na, yung parang mabilis na kasi dumidiretsyo na sa kanila. So, for individuals, yan. Um, if you are going for uh, sole proprietorship or partnerships, yan, yan na yung pumasok na dyan yung DPI, um, SEC kapag you're a corporation, and then if you have uh, the same, yun, ano, so meron ka ng additional step. So aside from BIR, you will also have your, um, uh, you will be enlisted in the Department of Trade and Industry to operate. Okay, um, there you will have additional paperwork. So what are those? Um, usually it's in the list when you go to that um, agency or to that LGU. Ang maganda sa DTI, they are Six Sigma certified. So faster, uh, that is for more people to, uh, they, they encourage more people to register their businesses, etc. And also from what I know, because I'm part of the organization for women, they have this um, caravan or campaigns wherein they also uh, give 
uh, mentorship to those people who are in startup businesses, etc. So if you want to know more, just log on to their website, dti.gov.ph. And then finally, if you're a corporation, um, aside from what I've mentioned earlier, you, you have to be listed in SEC. So again, there are another long list for those that are into OPC or one person corporation or the regular corporation. So those are the things that we uh, do um, uh, to cater to the micro, small, and medium enterprise business owners. Um, and the reason why I'm mentioning that is because that's our focus. That's our market talaga here in XDT. And um, we encourage people, uh, freelancers, professionals, individuals to to look into their business mission and vision. An ano ba talaga tayo? Nag exist lang ba for the sake of existing? Or do we want to give significance to the nation? Eh? Help build nation building. Ganon. Oh. Wow, ayo ko nang dami, ang dami, ang dami yata. Hindi <laughs> mamili ka lang doon. <laughs> mamili ka lang doon sa tatlo kung ano ka doon, 'di ba? For example, pwede ka namang half and half. Yes, parang ano lang, 'di ba? Parang kape. <laughs> half and half. So, pwede kang individual, pero if you ventured into a corporation, magka-separate 'yon kasi magkaiba yung benefits noon, magkaiba din yung features at iba rin yung responsibility. Yeah, mas mamalaki yung corporation, mas simple yung sa single or individual. All right. So, from what uh, Coach Ayet has shared with us, maraming option. So, let's try to break it down. Siguro muna, uh, make it simple. Kung mabari, I started as a part-time. I'm still employed and getting okay. compensation and salary uh -oh. from a certain company. And right. then half of my time, I dedicated to the yeah, commission base and part of this uh, insurance company. What's my best option? Will that say, Sanay, oh, coach, the filing mm. company ko na yun. Wala na akong yeah, ako. Yeah, oo. Ako din. Nasanay din ako na gano'n. Wala ko niintindi, di ba? So, if gano'n, yung ibig sabihin, ang tawag sa'yo ay slashy. Tama ba? Meron kang ginagawa. You're employed. Somebody's taking care. Kung baga may nag-withhold ng tax mo for that service that you provide for that company or entity. And then, nag-decide ka na, oh, dapat multi-income stream, di ba? So, you want another uh, uh, pocket for your income in addition to your salary base. So, if that's the case, you need to have, kung baga sa compensation and benefit na meron kang individual contributorship so, ibig sabihin, nag-withhold na sila doon eh. E, itong service na pinoprovide mo, different. Um, baka lang may mga HR na nakikinig sa atin, yung moonlighting na tinatawag. <laughs> Guys, tignan nyo rin yung mga kontrata nyo, okay? Kung allowed kayo na ano. Kasi may mga friends din tayo ah, sa HR. Diba? Importante pala yun. Good thing, good thing yun. Oh, Hindi lang pala basta-basta. Uy! Okay dito. Um, oh, okay dito. Open-minded ka ba? Aring ganyan. Okay lang naman yun. Nung ngayon, fragile so, times at this time, di ba? Pero, check nyo rin. Check, okay, check muna. Mm -mm. Yes. Oo, oh, doon tayo sa tama, di ba? Check muna if oh. that won't uh, breach your agreement or right. contract. void your contract as an employed person. Pero what you're oh. saying, uh, kailangan ko na mag-separate na uh, Yes. Or Oo, kasi depende ako kay HR. Kailangan ng um kailangan mo ng separate kasi for example nawala ka dun sa employment mo, you will be on this um service and then when you are in the service at hindi ka papayagan as you mentioned, di ba, yung case mo, ano, insurance agent ka. So hindi naman papayag yung company mo kung wala kang registration. I mean, di ba, we would like to think it that way that all companies are compliant. And very good. Yun. All right. So, yeah. For that person, uh, salaried, and then looking at this part there. How about uh, if the person is doing this full-time? Okay. All the more. First step All ba, the more that you have. First step by CUR or DDI mo now? First and foremost, kailangan tag ka. 
<laughs> dun sa insurance company. Dapat, di ba, nakapag-training. Kasi kapag ganun, yun yung very first step. Naintindihan mo yung business na magmamalasakit ka sa business mo kasi gusto mo kumuha ng commission, di ba? And then you go to COR. And where do you go? BIR. COR, registration, Certificate of Registration. Tapos ATP, yun yung OR. And then, I don't know how long it will take for some areas, but usually the average is uh, one to two weeks. Depende, no? Kung depende kung anong alert level tayo meron. Pero ganun siya. So, kapag naman na nagkaroon ka na ng paper, that means you can issue the receipt to your clients. And kasi bibigyan, kumbaga, si company mo sa insurance is already withholding. ba? So, yung yung resibo hindi pupunta doon sa customer or sa client mo kundi doon sa company doon mo siya ibibigay yan for your mute yan yan so for full timer yan talagang ito lang yung sole ito yung pinaka source of income mo uh you register. Uh, meron na bang LGU na online, fully automated? I know DTI, you can get it online, di ba? Oo, oh, 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 DTI. Register, pay, and then sprint it out. About for, uh, sorry, not LGU, but PAR. Um, as of the moment, they what they have what they call iris. So, parang it's just for ang alam ko ha, uh, for the change of RDO. So, for example, lumi, you're an employee, you lumipat ka ng company. So, yung change ng RDO, yun yun. Pero yung something that's automated all throughout, um, balitaan mo ako kung meron. <laughs> Kasi hindi ko pa sure. <laughs> Hindi <laughs> ko sure. Pero what I know, there are a lot of IT companies who are offering the same service that we are offering. So the main distinction is we believe in the human capital side of things and um, wala namang masama because we're not in direct competi uh, competition with them. Um, they're IT based and we're accounting. So yung insights that we provide after the registration is uh, the bulk of our business transactions. So yung insights until business succession, scaling up, those are the things that matter to our clients. So coach, pagka, yan, I have my DTI, direction ba ako sa BAR or do I still need my own uh, LGU? permit or um, this is permit. Depende yun. Or if you are a BMB, di ba may mga mayor's permit pa yan? Ibig sabihin, you are holding an office as a person. Ikaw lang. Yan. Um, you, hahanapan ka nun eh. And then, um, so DTI, usually yan sa mga uh, single prop, tapos yung SEC for corporation. So yung with regard to your question na after, sino may uuna, di ba? Usually ang nauuna kapag individual will be the COR kapag partnership or uh, uh, yeah, single prop ano siya, DTI and then corporation for incorporation or companies. Tapos, right. pagkatapos nun, BIR. Ayan. Ayan. So, at least meron tayong idea what are the things that we want to register. And until at to the point na meron ka ng sarili mong uh, receipt. Yes. So, uh -huh. for example, I sign up, successfully sign up uh, policy na nakaroon ako ng client. What do I put there? Ito ba yung binayad na premium or ito ba yung commission na nakuha okay. ko from that sale? Alright. So, you are not going to give the OR to your client but to the company. Okay. So, ang ilalagay mo doon would be the commission that you received from the company. Kasi okay. yun yung winded hold. So, parang mag-even out lang sila. Ganun. Okay. So, hindi yan yung kunyari, uy, Joseph, bigyan mo ang resibo. No. <laughs> so, the company <laughs> they will, receive, will issue yeah. yes. oh, oh. <laughs> sa client mo. Para clear lang. So, ito yung para alam natin na ito yung amount na na bigyan sa'yo. Na-receive mo na. Na -receive mo oh. na commission from that sale. Tama. So, after that, meron pa ba akong kailangan gawin? Um, after that, 
well, uh, are you talking as an individual FA? So if you are, um, that will entail your responsibility to check on the deadline. So usually um, here in, in the office, we remind the the client said, hey, um, the due date is upcoming. Maybe you can give us your 2307 or your commission list, yung paper. And then, yon, we file for them and then they ask or they just, uh, they we give them updates or they ask if they need something. Uh, can you prepare something for me because I need to take a loan or something like that. So every bit of the paper trail that is uh, sent to them um, we safe keep okay and then aside from the monthly there's also quarterly filing and annual filing and um, the idea is to give comfort and convenience so if ikaw yung gagawa ng or ikaw yung nagnenegosyo you don't really have to look back uh, yung may gumagawa kasi ng back end mo and the least of your concerns would be how do you now diverse how do you achieve your uh, awards yung mga di ba nasa vision board usually ganyan yung sinasabi sa atin you get to focus so your competency is more laser focused to the clients that you can give customer good customer service at saka good customer experience yung the back end it's like you have mini secretaries that is there for you you don't have to worry about uh, beating the deadline because that's extra effort you don't have to worry about lining up and you don't have to worry that probably my paper is not on that first batch kasi usually di ba kapag naka queue tapos inabot ka ng say 12 midnight and sadly hindi nakapunta dun yung paper mo sa batch na na submit eh di magbabayad ka ng penalty and um, that's what we don't want to happen it's always about um, our our services always circled on how we can improve the system internally at least, how we can provide good customer experience and how we can encourage everyone to take on the challenge. Now, you know, you have to cred uh, increase your credibility and legitimize your business. Mukhang yeah. lalim dumami yata yung paperwork uh -oh. sa coach. <laughs> <laughs> and actually, the paperwork, you don't have to worry because we, we are the ones who will be doing it. Uh, uh, we'll be doing yeah. the papers. So at least for everybody watching and those who have watched this uh, conversation, we have a brief idea what things that we have to register, to file, and do. Pero what's the good thing about this is uh, XDT, Coach Shayet is here. So they have a very special program that handles everything for you. So can you give us an idea uh, in terms of number Ilan na ba yung FAs that you're currently engaged with in helping specifically for this uh, yun nga, yung finding compliance and everything? Okay, so instead of giving you the right number, kasi it's ever evolving, no? we actually increase our numbers by the week. We are very far from our target, and when we say goals, we want we mean the community. So if you can imagine how many colors of companies are out there and how many active agents are selling, we are very far from our target. And that's what that's why I I am here for. You know, thank you for this opportunity, Joseph, for for telling me that I can talk about things about what we are most passionate about and how we can drive our advocacy in help build the nation by helping others to be legitimized and credible in their businesses. So, ang galing ko bang kumambio, Joseph? And they're being, they're huh? been doing this for a long time. So Yeah, more than a decade. Oh. Yeah, if you're looking to just optimize and streamline your activity, make sure you reach out to XDT. So, I think... That really gives us a good idea uh, yes. how Coach uh -huh. Ayet and her company could help your business grow. And uh -huh. at this point, Sigur, I just want to invite you, Coach. Can you share with us uh -oh. my social you, media? Mo, uh -oh. or how do sure. You reach can you, you allow me to also share my screen so I can just um, uh, show them where they can find us? Thank you. Of course. And, of course, we give you a price. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, for the price, um, to be fair also, no, for the viewers, the price lists will be um, emailed once you have our, um, once you ask us about uh, things, um, we need to know where you're coming from. So, ito lang malinaw, the open cases fees will be on top of whatever it is, yung mga service fees namin. So, our, ayan, uh, ito. So, for for our um this is our company website and very simple lang naman siya our company profile our employees are here um coach Ayat is also linked here uh this where you can um maybe navigate on after you watch after you watch this session with joseph no so this is our mission and vision our ayan so more than 25 years of experience kahit na um, more than a decade lang kami because we also attribute this to the experts that we have in the office so these are the partners and if you have any questions um there's also a detail um if if you guys are uh, free every saturday we have closing to compliance and this is in um connection with always be closing so this is happening every Saturday. It's for free. So everybody, um, even if you're not a financial advisor, if you're a freelancer or a company owner who is starting up or probably there already, um, but you are still medyo not comfortable with the, uh, in managing your taxes and finances. And this is not limited to just registration and filing. We also give out um, insights on how we can better manage your finances and um, your legacy planning for that matter. So if you click or you scan this code, you will be given, yun na nga yung sinasabi ni Joseph na, how much is the pricing, etc. So depending on the um, what profile you are in, um, what your questions are, and if we needed to sit down with you, no problem, because um, here at XDT, we are very reasonable, you know, um, there are a lot of clients, especially those attending this closing to compliance, we give them free consultation right after they attended, um, just tell them, uh, just tell us if you attended and when did you attend and then we will give our time to you so that we can also um, wrap our heads on where you are coming from so aside from that ayan so that's xdp and company for coach ayet uh, this is my website um siguro pinaka maganda na lang na tignan niyo dito would be the podcast which is also in youtube um the podcast episodes are located here and in youtube um this is also in apple podcast and spotify so the most recent would be uh, marketing and branding i have a 30 minute um, interview with many business owners, young and not so young. And I also have one from uh, from outside, offshore, offshore Shaw, and she is into uh, social media branding as well. And um, I hope that you can check out all the series of um, conversations in this podcast. And if you are free and available, and if you want to uh, let your stories be heard in terms of how we can secure a happy lifestyle, uh, let me uh, know and just drop in a message here. Or you can contact me or you can just um, uh, maybe message me here in um, this Facebook page, Coach Ayet. Uh, let me know how else I can help and maybe we can collaborate. Uh, if not, if may mga clients din ako, regional, Joseph, you know, um, nakakatuwa kasi uh, as far as Lanao, Del Norte, something like that, bigla ka nalang nalaman na, ah, oh, okay, so you heard me from somewhere and nag-research daw siya and lumabas nga daw yung name ko. So, ang maganda dito, it's not solely just here in Metro Manila that we are reaching out people, uh, that we are able to reach out people. I am happy and grateful that uh, during this fragile time, we are able to ripple hope to other people because of Wi-Fi and <laughs> connectivity. Ayan. So that's pretty much it. Instagram, yes, I am also there, but mostly of those um, on those channels that I usually go to. 
coach yung TikTok baka naiyak ako pa. Wala ako noon. <laughs> Wala ako nun. Uh, siguro, ano na lang yan, may mas magaling para mag-tiktok for me. Pero, natutuwa ako. I'm aware, I nanonood ako doon. If nandun doon ka, I'll follow you, no problem. <laughs> I don't, ano, siguro that's not for me. But, you know, tiktok is very, very, ang, ang fun niya, nakakatuwa siya. <laughs> How about your YouTube channel? The YouTube channel is uh, the one that I showed a while ago. Let me see. Okay. My YouTube is... Ayan, ito siya. So, kung ano yung nasa website, probably people are more into YouTube. So, syempre, depende yan sa age profile, di ba? So, mga millennials are really into visual and uh, listening. Um, I hope that I can get an audiobook, kaya nga ako nagpo-podcast. Oh, di ba? <clears throat> Kasi feeling ko maganda naman yung boses ko. <laughs> Pero, so, um, previous live episodes on Coffee House Chat is also here. Uh, we started about a year ago, sometime around this um, month also, when the COVID, yung onset ng COVID. And then, based, may conversion yan. So, if you're gonna tell me, uh, ano ba to ginagawa naman ito? By free? Yes, guys, free lang to. I, I get to also um, help other friends who are in business during the COVID season na yung talaga nagsarado lahat. And they are able to get clients because na, na feature din naman sila. Maybe not all are my clients, but I am happy that I'm able to give them. Um, another would be yung ayon so dun sa dito um nakakatuwa because when i went live for coffee house chat um we featured somebody and this somebody we barely know okay we, we did not know them but um they are children in uh the in the south specifically zamboanga and what happened was somebody um, is being interviewed, uh, naging friend ko na lang din siya, and then ang nangyari is may nakarinig from my other organization. So, ayan. So, laka, ano tayo, no? medyo nang bagal na internet ko. So, kukwento ko habang nag-re-read nag- na nag- pa siya. Okay, so habang pinapanood niya, uh, na-touch siya. Sabi niya, oy, ayet, like really after the, the live session, uh, she said, um na na-move ako dun sa sa story you no know, feature niyo sa sa live session niyo maybe i can help and then i told her who happens to be my mentor uh in the insurance industry sabi ko uy i'm so happy you, you had time you yeah? you had time to um uh and then eto eto na ngayong nangyari so mdrt uh gave yellow boat foundation a check and um it's worth so many boats <laughs> nakakatuwa kasi um yeah no so these are the kids who who have been going to and fro um from their homes to the school and they have to swim but now they have boats diba but na accelerate pa siya when MDRT foundation uh said that uh yes we will be giving them the the grant and we are so happy and just fast forward so yan siya um it's very and uh, this is my mentor she's uh miss vicky markaida along with the other talented individuals in the picture this guy is the one who in, i interviewed at the time so um this was a momentous uh <laughs> I didn't really expect to be here ayan um sa sa ganitong event but what I'm very thankful for is that hindi pala waste of time kasi Sunday night yun eh di ba parang ang dami-dami ng pwedeng gawin but making a difference to other people's lives and even if I didn't know the children who received the gift from somebody I was the channel so naka we we are the channel. So, who knows? Maybe somebody is also watching this, ano, um, session with you, Joseph, and you're uh, maybe we can give significance to to other people's lives, diba? Yeah. So, I hope definitely, na definitely, <laughs> definitely, definitely. Uh, this session has been a learning session, and for sure, after watching this and after talking to you, what I mean. 
na open um isipan and for sure they learn how you make a difference in a life insurance agent's business so make sure oh. you contact coach Hayet yes to help you get Uh-oh. started and I want to thank you again for this yes, thank time. Thank you also. Giving us this time. Grabe. So, episode two, I don't forget. <laughs> uh, yes, yes. Um, let me know um, how I can help. And uh, let me know if we can be friends in social media. I'm open. Um, if, if we can work on something together, let me also know. Thank you, Joseph. If that's the end of it, I hope. And I hope you guys will subscribe to both of our YouTube channels. Thank you. Yes.